let's hear a little bit from Mike McCarthy as I reset my own brain on how to explain the latest loss for the Cowboys. The streak is now five in a row for the team formerly known as America's. Well, it's, uh, it's very frustrating. It's uh, frustrating for everybody. Uh, frustrating for the players. Uh, frustrating for the coaches. I know it's, uh, you know, it's disappointing for the fans. Uh, but we just we, we, we have a lot of moving parts going on, and we just have to be cleaner and more detailed in certain spots. We're, 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 we're not playing well enough or you know, execute well enough, um, coaching well enough to overcome some of the mistakes we're making at, at, at critical times in the game. This is it, man. We got seven losses. We got to go backs against the wall. We got to fight, scratch, claw. We got to do everything we can to go win the next game. That's where my mind's at. That's what that's what I'm gonna coach, and that's the expectation. Yeah, I'm, I'm you know, we we gotta win. You know, we deserve the win. You know, we, we deserve the opportunity to win. That's a blow to crap, Mike. You don't deserve anything. You're facing another team that deserves it as much as you do. You have to go get it. Nothing's given to you. That other team deserves it as much as you do. You have a you you deserve a chance. That's it. And you get it. Every week, they start the game. You get your chance. It's up to you to go make it happen. And I understand you got to find something to say. And at a certain point, you just run out of stuff to say. So it's like, I'm just going to say whatever comes out of my mouth. But, I, I don't, you know, Devin, you weren't in this situation very often in New England because you were there for one of, the, one of the most impressive runs of greatness we've ever seen. But I, whether it's the Bengals – whether it's the Cowboys, whether it's the Dolphins, this idea that we're just going to magically access some well of good fortune, and I, it's not impossible, right? It's the same mindset that causes people to buy lottery tickets. They delude themselves into thinking they have a chance because somebody wins. Like, we have a chance to turn it around because we've seen that in certain circumstances, the planets line up just right and it works, and we have to keep trying. We're definitely not going to win if we don't act like we can. But from fan perspective, from analyst perspective, from anybody who cares about the game perspective, it feels like a fool's errand because the flaws that have gotten you to this point aren't just magically going to disappear. And you don't have your best player in Dak Prescott. Like, nothing's going to change here. This is all part, this is an extension of the Jerry Jones grift to try to get people to stay engaged. Don't give up on us. Keep coming to the games. Keep watching on TV. Keep giving us your money because we're not giving up yet, even though we should. And I guess my question for you, and again, you didn't experience this. At some point, the locker room is going to smell the same BS that we smell on the outside. And they're going to say, I, look, and I know you want to compete and you're aggressive and I get it. But at some point, you accept the fact that this just ain't the year. You, and one of the things is you, you got to be real with your team. 2021, at one point in the season, I believe we were two and four or something like that. And we kept coming in the locker room. And I think that was the gift of playing in New England. Like the sound bites weren't going to come from us that you can go and what you just said, Fleur. Because as soon as I heard we deserve, I thought the same exact thing you thought. What do you mean you deserve? You, you think you're the only team that's working hard? You're the, only, you're the only coaching staff that's staying up and trying to think of a game plan? I'm like, no, all 32 teams have coaches and players who are determined to win every week. It's what do you do in practice? How do you coach? How do you get better as a player? Are you on the jugs machines? Are you staying after extra to do things that, that you're not doing well in the game? Like That's the things that separate from you winning and losing a football game, not just showing up. Everybody's showing up doing those things. But in 2021, in our building, we kept saying, we're better than a two and 14. We're better than this. And I remember sitting there in a defensive meeting and I was like, guys, Stop saying that shit. There's no such thing as like we're better than our <laughs> record. Or we're, we're, yes. We we don't actually like every team who is losing. They say the same thing in their building, and it's what I've been saying about the Bengals the whole season. And I still picked them Sunday night and fell into the trap. But it's, <laughs> you bad habits, and you keep believing in what you're saying. We're a slow start team. We get going in November. We get going in December. No, like what you continue to put on tape 
will continue to haunt you. So as we watch the Bengals Sunday night, and I know the Bengals are catching a stray, but it seems like, oh, here they go again. They didn't come ready to play. They come storming back. Then they miss two field goals and lose out on six points, and the Chargers make the plays to win the game. Because all year, what have the Bengals been doing? They've been doing having just enough bad football to lose games. And I think right now, the Green Bay Packers are another team that's kind of floating of – a turnover here or there, a bad play here mixed in, and they're finding ways to win. And we always say, hey, in the NFL, when you find ways to win, that's good football. We said it about the Eagles last year. But at some point, you have to continue to harp on the mistakes and take those mistakes away as you continue during your season. And then you start to say, okay, we're finding ways to win, and we're cutting, uh, cutting down on bad football. That stops us from winning. And right now, when you look at the Cowboys, the bad football, whether it's a bad decision, whether it's a bad play on the field, like they, they haven't gotten away from that. It's like in the key moments when you need the plays, you get a drop pass, you get an errant throw, a few missed tackles, or we're fighting at the end of the game every single play in the last three or four plays of it's a scuffle here, it's a scuffle. And then Joe Mixon runs over top of you and he gets in the back of the end zone. He starts acting like he's spanking somebody because like that's that's what football is about. It's not after the whistle. It's who's going to be the tough guy once the whistle happens. Who's going to be the team that makes the right play in the right moments? Those are the winning teams because every single team can draw eight to ten plays of every game and say, man, if we just got these plays right, we would have won. Yes, we know. That, like, that's the difference in most football games. Problem. But the teams that don't do it harp on how close they were instead of saying, hey, we have to do these or we will continue to lose. And what we've seen so far with the Cowboys, they just continue to lose. And by the way, Devin, I do have to pause for a moment and just point out one thing. You, you've been doing a phenomenal job as a broadcaster. You're a joy to be around. I loved you as a player. I love working with you, but I do have to give you one bit of constructive criticism in this moment. I'm sorry to do this, but I think it's important. That was not a stray at the Bengals. That was not a stray. That was a direct hit. So <laughs> that was, and it's deserved because you're right. These narratives take over. And if the players believe it, they lose sight of the fact of what it takes to dig out of the hole. Instead of standing at the bottom of the hole saying, hey, we're kind of in this hole, but maybe somebody will come pull us out. You pull yourself out, and you pull it out one step at a time, one grab of, the, of, a, of an exposed root and pull your ass out. That's the only way to do it. And, and I know the coach has to say something, but you're right. It's got to be something that will resonate with the players and get them to understand. Let's not sit here and say, Oh well, we you know this break went against us. That call went against us. This bounce of the ball went against us. You got to make it go for you. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.